Hello crafters and welcome to P2P Crafts online show brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Show, our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper craft community. I'm your host Tamara Habris, lover of all things inky, sticky and sparkly and I'm so excited to be joining you today. P2P Crafts online show brings you over 30 demonstrations and interviews with our talented retailers and guest artists. For all of the details, head over to our website from picturetopage.com .au, where you can find all the up-to-date details plus links to our sponsors and guests. While you're there, make sure you join our email list so you can be the first to get all of the updates for upcoming events plus links to all of the replays so you won't miss a thing. We'd like to have a very big thank you to our sponsors Darkroom Door and Uniquely Creative. Darkroom Door is located on the central coast of New South Wales. They're a family owned and operated business and they believe in supporting independent craft stores. They create unique red rubber stamps and stencils, and through their blog, videos and workshops, Darkroom Door inspires stampers and artists worldwide. Uniquely Creative are passionate about making beautiful stamps, dies and embellishments. Through their Creative Kit Club, they specialise in creating kits with matching papers and products, so it's easy to create your projects at home. Now, whether you're watching live in Facebook, or a replay on Facebook or YouTube, we want to know you're here. So pop into the comments, say hi, and ask any questions and we'll do our best to get them answered, or we'll go back and answer them after the session. Let's get started, P2P Crafts Online, with Sam from Creative Memories. Hi, Sam. Hi, Tamara, how are you? Yeah, really good, thanks. So how's everything going at home, all organised? Sort of, crazy, <laughs> absolutely crazy. We've been moving house and office and everything's going in different directions. Okay, well, if that's a moved office behind you, you've done very well, it's so organised. Yeah. So. Yes, well, this is about the only room that's organised so far. <laughs> well, you started with the important one, so that's well that's planned. It, the one that's going to pay the bills. So, okay. Now, Sam, there might be some new crafters online. Can you just give us a brief overview of what Creative Memories is and does? Creative Memories is all about memory keeping and preserving photos. However, at the end of the day, you have papers, you have stickers, you have embellishments, so they are everything any paper crafter possibly could imagine and think of and want for their collection. Oh, sounds fabulous and believe me there's always more that we need. <laughs> oh yeah, As you, I, I, I have no shortage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. Well if you would like to turn your camera around I'll just pop off and you can switch that across and we'll come back to you. No worries. So sounds to me like creative memories is something I should probably get into. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's just one of those things that how much stuff can a girl have? Never enough. <laughs> so, how are we going there, Sam? That one? Nope. Oh, I have to get a pair of glasses for these screens because <laughs> I can't see who we've got. Hi, Kerry, and we've got Liz and Julie. Thank you all for joining us. So, I haven't figured out I need long distance glasses and short distance glasses. So, anyway, here we go. Sam's all ready. So, over to you, Sam. I'll just move that slightly to the... Yep, no, that's nice and centred. Yep, you've done well. Beautiful. So we're going to have a bit of a play with the new Hello Autumn collection. Oh, we did cool. have a product release on Tuesday of some stunning Christmas stuff, which I look forward to playing with on Tuesday when it hopefully arrives. Oh, I love all but those autumn colours, so though. We've got some stunning, absolutely gorgeous autumn colours. Oh. I must say I'm a huge fan of this collection. So we've got mats, we have stickers, we have embellishments and we have designer papers and tone on tones to complement each other. So it's all so in the kit all ready to go. It is all coordinating, all matching and oh, I don't know about you but stunning. <laughs> just, yeah, just on camera it looks fabulous. So. so some of them are quote cards, other ones are journaling, title cards. There's a combination, so you can use it straight onto a card or you can use it on your scrapbooking. So quite a few of the cards you can also cut in half and you get two. Oh, okay. That's always handy because I'm always looking for borders for my things. That's it. We have some beautiful stickers with some lovely colours. Oh, they are pretty. I love the leaves. And some more autumn-themed stickers and then lovely leaves and pumpkins. And that might be good for people who do uh, Thanksgiving stuff too, the pumpkins. Yes. Or even just um, gardening. Yeah. The pumpkins are good for gardening because lots of people start with pumpkins. Well, I think they're hard to start themselves. 
which makes them great to start if you're trying to grow a veggie patch. <laughs> Especially when you're, not, yeah, when you're not planting it and all of a sudden there's a huge pumpkin. Works well. Yep. <laughs> and we also have a apple maker border cartridge, which we will have a play with today as well. Uh-huh. And they released an archer's punch. I've gone completely blank on the name and I've thrown the box out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something I'll do. Stunning punch. Complete blooper there, which we'll also play with. Some lovely foiled embellishments and sparkly gemstones. That's my bling. Good on you. <laughs> yeah. And all of the, most of the embellishments have actual little metallic oh. foiling on them. Oh, pretty. It's pretty hard to see. But they're very subtle. So some have got gold dipped. Yep, yep. And there's a whole variety of just leaves and scatters that you can put on your page because who hasn't got photos of kids playing in leaves or pets playing in leaves just going crazy in the leaves so some little journal tags and boxes there with gold embellishing and that's so much better than having to use a glue pen (laughs) oh (laughs) so much wow there is massive packet Oh, great venue. So you get all of them in a packet for 15. So I'll those off to the table. Well, the hardest part of it is figuring out what to use. That's it. And because they all coordinate, it means you can do so many different things with them, whether they're cards, uh, even collages, or your scrapbook pages. Mm. So then we've also got the Hello Autumn Tone on Tone packet. Which is double sided designer papers. I always have trouble with double sided because if I like both sides, I have to buy twice as much paper. But I suppose that's the cunning plan, isn't it? True, <laughs> but you could always fold it in half and use both. <laughs> and I can show you a trick today with, you know, making the most of both sides of those papers you might like. Sounds good. I'm watching. <laughs> so they're all very similar patterns, but they're slightly different colours so that they match in with the slightly heavier, more patterned papers. Geez, that one almost looks embossed. It's like a weave. Hmm. Yeah. And a, and a tartan, really. Yes. So great for those flannies <laughs> frolicking in the leaves. Well, you might be able to convert some of those to Christmas as well. So. Yes, certainly can, especially the darker reds and sort of greens. That one's a very subtle one. That's nice. Yes. And then you've got a nice green there. So how many packet, uh, papers, pieces come in the pack? It's 12 double-sided. 12 double-sided. That's all right. And they're 18 for the pack. Okay. Ooh, so that's a nice that's one. Nice. I'm not usually an orange or yellow fan, but it's... That's a nice Not an in space bright. It's quite subtle. Mm. Yeah, they've got the tonings right on those. Yeah, yep. look at that. And then you've got your lovely auburn to finish it off. So pretty. <laughs> then we have our designer prints. That's about wait, there's more. It is. This is where you've got your slightly more printed textured papers. So you've got some stunning red leaves. There's a bit of a red girl. That one's really nice to me. I'm I'm red freak. <laughs> I love red. If it's red, I want it. So you've got some lovely little subtle They're, blue swirls. Yeah, yeah, because often the papers will detract from the photos, which is what you don't want. So they will be really nice. So they've got enough pattern to add interest without necessarily taking away from your photos so that you can still focus on telling the story. Yeah. Yeah. And some lovely greenery there, which would be good for spring or Mm. autumn. Mm. Yes, Wendy's convincing me I need to buy extra. (laughs) Thanks, Wendy. (laughs) Some lovely green with some little acorns just scattered on them. These are also pretty. (laughs) They are. 
and then some lovely – I think this paper would be great for outback photos just because of the strong oranges and sort of the dot pattern to it. Yep, yep. Something Australiana. Yep. Oh, that one's pretty too. <gasps> oh. Yep. I must say these last couple of pages are my favourite. I love these leaves. Yeah, they're not quite a ginkgo leaf, but um, skeleton yep. leaf, skeleton leaf, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like when as a ki when you're a kid at kinder, they get you to put the leaves in the paint and then on the paper, <laughs> and then some stunning blue. And this one's oh, my favourite. Very bright and fun. Gee. So we're going to be playing with those two papers today. Okay. And we're going to be doing a fold over layout with a twist. Oh, I like twists. So, two, but I want to bring. Just going to duck it here quickly. You're doing a double layout? Yes. Yep. So that one's a nice masculine one, that colour, that green. My husband would like something like that. I'll just pick my fifth sheet. Because I wasn't too sure <laughs> I would prefer until I'm actually sort of touching it and looking at it. I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the green. Okay. This isn't the so first time it? you've seen the pack, is it? <laughs> Uh, it's the first time I've opened it yet. So oh, okay. my <laughs> Nothing like doing things on the fly, eh? Because <laughs> no, I had forgotten that all the stuff I'd ordered got sent to the old address, so I had to go and collect it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's been quite the day. Moving in the middle of a so, pandemic, got, not a good thing. <laughs> yep, so we've got five pages, and the aim is to have almost no waste. Okay. That's all that's left over at the end. All right, I hope everybody paid attention to that. I hate, I have so many bits and pieces and scraps all over the table. <laughs> so it's all about quick, easy and minimal wastage so that you don't have scraps laying around everywhere. Okay, fabulous. So we'll put our cardstock to the side. And we'll just look at these two layouts. So okay. it's, a, it's a folding page, which I will grab in a minute. Mm -hmm. And I'll pull these to the side. So for my base, the green, and then I'm going to use these ones for my fold. So we're going to use the amazing trimmer that I love so much. Is that the fancy and pants one that's got all the blades hiding in the back? Yes, it is the fancy pants one. Mm. It doesn't get much better, mm. even for the uncoordinated like myself. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get one of those. <laughs> well, sing out because I know someone that has them. Okay. I would have thought you would. <laughs> yes, I do. The, se the secret someone. <laughs> That's it. So I'm going to be using the scoring blade and I think I might use the Victorian blade today and the straight blade. So first we're going to swap out the blades, which are really quick and easy, safety blades. You can run your fingers over them and no cuts, That's and we're so going to slide our scoring blade in okay. to start with. Oh, so scoring blade as well. Oh, it's got everything. Yes. So there's seven, eight, seven. Okay. I think Facebook came up on an ad and told me that that had sold out like three times since it's been introduced. Yes, it had. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start with scoring. So we're going to take piece number one. Now you'll have to decide which way you want the leaves. And I think I'd like them that way. Now I'm going to slide it in and I'm going to score it at one and a half. That's inches. Ah, scrapbooking in inches. I'm a centimetre girl. It freaks me out no end. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to score the other one at two and a half.
So in centimetres, I can tell you that too because there's centimetres as well. Ah, excellent. Is six, just on six centimetres. Cool. So I'm sure I've got um, trimmers and things at home and they're just in inches and they're sitting on my shelf because, like, I can't do it. (laughs) And then, again, second piece, decide which way you want. So we'll go in centimetres this time. So it's just over three centimetres. And then turning it around. Oh, sorry, not turning it around. Sliding it through. Right. And we go to two and a half, which is just... Six. (laughs) Between six, six and a half. So we've got all these lovely square up lines so you can see that you square the whole way along. Sit back to the side. And we're going to fold our sides in. We're doing that both the same way on both pieces. Yes. So you can choose to do it the different ways on the pieces if you so choose and have them top and tailing. Okay. But I'm choosing this way. As we say, then there's we... no mistakes in craft. That's it. So then we're going to swap out the blade and we're going to grab the Victorian blade. Oh, that's so easy to change. Oh, it is. And I don't have to stress about the kids getting in here and accidentally getting their little fingers on things that they shouldn't have. (laughs) I'm surprised there's not a lock on the door. (laughs) Look, we've only been here three days, so time's time's still young. (laughs) It's still time. So to get a nice thin edge so you're not wasting paper, we're just lining it up with the second dotted line. And then you waste almost no paper. Wow. Very fine, precise cuts. A smidge. A smidge. The definition of a smidge. Yep. I'm not going to ask how long the blades last because obviously it depends on how much you use them. They're tested to about 2,000 cuts. Okay. But that also that also depends on what thickness paper you use. Mm-hmm. So I tend to use thinner papers, which means this one's lasted well over two thousand cuts. Okay, yeah, because if you had the thicker, where if you're using thicker card yeah. stocks, uh, it probably will yeah. do about that ten thousand. So when you buy replacement blades, do they all come together, or do you buy them individually? Individually, so that you don't have to buy a whole set. Right, So because you, you might not use one anywhere near as much as you use, say, the scalloped. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on. Might help if I line it up with the right line. <laughs> don't make a liar out of me and make a mistake. Okay, you can show us how to put it back in. Yeah, there we go, the blade's in. Oh, look at that. Oh, that it was so lot. easy. Blade in it. See, so that, was a, that was an excellent demonstration for that, Sam. <laughs> That's it. So when you put the blade in, make sure it clips so that it doesn't fall out when you cut it. Aha. Okay, so now there's a tip for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some tape, just a little bit of a reposition. You don't need much. On both sides. There's that smidge again. That's it. <laughs> Love those smidges. They make the dollars go further. And everybody knows what size smidge is, don't you? <laughs> all right. Isn't that amazing? Like, you've had it all folded up, but now that it's stuck down, it gives it a whole totally different look. That's it. Wow. And then we're going to go back to our smidges. And we're going to cut this side so that the decorative edge is the same for both small pieces. And then this cuts both at the same time. 
You just have to press down a little bit harder. Okay. Just the very smidgest over the edge. So tight, even as a double layer, the tiniest, yeah. tiniest okay, and that's... thin cuts. Now, can you hold that edge up to the camera for us so that we can have a closer look on the... Yep. I will sneak these to the Wow, okay. So you've got a very, very fine yeah. Victorian edge. Yeah, nice. So it's very subtle without being too overbearing. Yeah. Just to give it that little, as we say, edge. Yep. So rather than it just being a plain sort of basic fold over, so again, tiniest edges, barely the thickness of a wow. paper clip. And also doing it this way means you don't have to try and measure and have everything mm. precisely the same size when you cut it or lined up for the cuts. Yep. I feel like I should have a prize if anyone can give me an idea of what to do with those little cut-off scripts. But I'll have ten <laughs> good ideas, so that, no, we're not going to do that, okay? <laughs> Put those there so that we can see the scraps at the end. So there's our small pile of scraps so far. Wow. Turn that around. And then you just decide whether you want to go horizontal or whether you want to go vertical. So for this one, I'm going to go vertical, I think. And I'll leave a smidge over this side and a smidge over this side. But they're bigger smidges. They are slightly bigger smidges. I just can't get over how pretty that leaf paper is. It is. It's stunning, and it's the star of the show, certainly. But this works really well for those papers that you like both sides, Tamara, oh, and then you get to use both sides. Exactly. I have to hunt some photos out. <laughs> so then we're going to sit these off to the side for a moment. And we're going to cut. Now, first we're going to swap the blade to straight. Obviously, you can cut your photo mats with the decorative edge, but I'm going to choose to do it with the straight blade today. So we're going to go four and a half. Handy dandy arm. Slide. <laughs> So that you can do up to 16 inches. We go six and a half. Now, please tell me you have all those measurements written down somewhere and you're not just remembering them. <laughs> no, I'm remembering them. Oh, wow. <laughs> And then six and a half that way. But I can write them down for Michelle to put in the comments. That might be a good idea. And then four and a half this way. It just means people have to rewatch the video and have with a pen and paper. And then we have left over six and a half. So we're going to go three and a quarter. Give me two seconds. So, so uh, Wendy is now telling me that she's an enabler. So anything I want, I sh I'll just say to Wendy, should I get one of these? And she's going to tell me, yes, works for me. <laughs> she sounds like a supportive friend. Well, it's certainly looking that way to me. <laughs> so then we just lay out our photo mats. So that we can see these beautiful colours. Oh, I don't want to hide all the leaves. <laughs> That's it. 
So great spot for a bit of embellishment. And then we're going to grab – oh, fudge. I did a pickle. I was supposed to cut my border out first. Missed it. So I might use a sticker for the moment. <laughs> These beautiful leaf, leaf stickers. Yep. I just love how the kits come with everything that you're going to need. So I think I'm going to use, because there's already leaves, I am going to quickly change my mind. You're entitled. And just put the little simple strip saying there's always something to be thankful for down each side. Okay. And that's a good thing for us to remember. We're all... That's been locked down for so long, but there's always something we can say, I'm so lucky. <laughs> yes. I'm getting to catch up on my scrapbooking. How about you? There you go. Uh, I have been given this great opportunity to co-host this fabulous craft show. <laughs> it is, and it's forced us all to learn new skills and embrace technology, hasn't it? Uh, it, it is. Um, yes, technology is wonderful when it works, as poor old Wendy found out earlier on. <laughs> So you've got that right over the join. So right down the side of the page so you can still enjoy yep. the lovely cuts. And I will quickly stick these papers down. Try not to throw them on the floor. <laughs> so if you want to celebrate the uh, paper a little bit more, we'll stick them down square. means we have to crop all the photos as well. Yes. Well, the three larger mats, you don't have to crop the photos. You can put them on hold. Okay. Mm -hmm. I found when I was scrapbooking, it's actually quite interesting to crop a photo. Like if there's just a slightly larger edge off to one side, when you take it down, it changes the focus again, like when you fold the papers See? over. We'll try and square them up so they're lined up. And even with the yep. papers down the middle, mm -hmm. in the centre of your album when it opens, the papers are going to line up. And how long have you been doing Creative Memories for? I have been doing it for probably close to 22 years. Wow. I was doing stock take for my mum when I was seven. <laughs> so, so it's all your mother's <laughs> fault. <laughs> I do the counting. I only know now that I don't think I was getting paid enough now that I'm doing my own. That's <laughs> what you call a love job. Apparently so. <laughs> well, then we've got some of these lovely embellishments that we can scatter all over the place. Yeah, but there's so many. There is. So I might put a little... Mm. <laughs> It's always the hardest part, picking the things together. It is. And because there's no photos on it just quite yet. Mm. Oh, so many to pick from. That's it. <laughs> I'm thinking these could be cute ones. What's that other phrase? I used to be indecisive, now I'm not sure. Yep. <laughs> so I can grab some foam squares to put on this one so that I can put it just neatly on the corner. A little bit of dimension. And still slide a photo on 
at a later date. Okay, yep. Do the same thing again with this. So by putting one in each of the corners, when I go to put my photo on the mat, the actual photo will slide up inside the gap between the foam squares. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to try and lift it and move it. Yep. Or again, you can just trim a smidge off. <laughs> That's it. Those. And Creative Memories sell all the little foam mounting dots as well? Yes, we've got foam squares, we have tape runners, we have glue pens. Oh. <laughs> if it's a gadget that you should have, we have it. Oh, excellent. Apple here. Do you know how thick those um, foam dots are? They, I believe they're about a mil. Okay. But you can stack them on top and they hold really well. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yep. Grab yeah, cause Sometimes this one. having layer, layered stacking is quite fun. <laughs> I'm just going to put some foam... Squares on this one. Those are little flags. They are. Yes, I'm always picking the backings of stuff off my desk at home when I do that. I try and put them in the bin straight away, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> and look, it's colour coordinated. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> so I'm going to put that just there and just there. And then I will trim off those edges a little later when I can find my scissors because that box I haven't found yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's hiding. You'll look for something else and the scissors will turn up, the scissors box. That's it. And then I'll just line it up and match it on the other side. Do you have any photos in mind to put on that that you can think of? Is it the children playing in leaves or...? It will probably be my daughter's kinder photos. Okay. Because they, they, she went to a kindergarten called Oak Street, uh -huh. and they always did their kinder kindergarten photos when the oak leaves were all over the ground and playing in the leaves. Oh well, that's just going to be so perfect. <laughs> it is, and if her, if I can't find hers, and I've already done hers, I can possibly dig out some of my own because I went to the same kinder and had the same kinder teacher. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she realised a couple of, about two years after she had my daughter that maybe it was time to retire because she started seeing more and more children of children she taught. <laughs> it must be nice to know you've made a difference. <laughs> and then again, we'll just link that up there. And then there's a little bit of room for some titles and journaling without losing away from your leaves. Oh, that's so pretty. So maybe when you found those photos, you could put up a uh, a, a photo onto Michelle's from picture to page and, and say, this is what you finished with. How's that for pressure? That's it. <laughs> there we go. Maybe some titles once there's photos on there. Yeah. So of the five pieces of paper, mm -hmm. that's all the scraps. Wow, that is fabulous. That, so just, yeah. certainly making most of the resources that you have. Yeah. Quick and easy layouts that you can just do on the go. 
for those that are time poor. Oh, that's brilliant. So, okie dokie. Well, that looked fabulous. So, um, that is a beautiful layout. I really am impressed with that. That's so nice. Um, okay, well, Sam, I'll turn the camera around. Give us a second. I'll turn the camera around and we'll get back to you in just a sec. No well, that was just such a beautiful layout. Um, I think I have a photo of one of my dogs sitting in a nice position that that would look really good on. So, yeah. how are you going there, Sam? <laughs> ah, surprise. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. Um, so when did you say the Christmas collection was going to be out? Uh, the Christmas collection was released on Tuesday. Okay. And I'm hoping that it arrives so that I can play with it on Tuesday. So be sure to jump over and like the Facebook page and join in on our virtual workshops, Ooh, okay. which have kits and videos and all sorts of challenges. Okay. Sounds fabulous. All right. Well, thank you so much for today. I've really enjoyed that. Um, and I just love that paper pack. I think I'm going to have to be putting in an order. <laughs> <laughs> so, can't be helped. All right. So lovely to see you and I'll see you later on in the weekend. Definitely. Have okay. a good evening. Thank you. Take care. Bye. So there we go. That was a brilliant layout. Um, just to reiterate, Creative Memories, they operate through independent advisors like Sam and they hold workshops, create kits and teach classes. Uh, selling everything from the basics, as Sam said, adhesives, tools and papers. Uh, to scrapbook albums, stamps, punches, themes, kits. So thank you very much for joining us for this session with Sam from Creative Memories and we'll see you later on.